Join Carol Davies on Global Voice Radio, the host of Only the Best for You. Be a change maker and unlock the secret to your best life. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my podcast, Only the Best for You, here on Global Voice Radio. My name is Carol Davies of the Passion Motivator Coaching Company. I'm so pleased with each week to share with you the best information and speakers about how you can be a change maker to make the world and yourself the best you can be. Today I'm reporting to you on a topic that has long intrigued me. How can you become a high achiever if you don't think that you are naturally? I'm going to give you several tips that you can try out and see if they will help you become more of a high achiever. If that's what you would like to become. So how can you become a high achiever? Have you ever looked on as someone else achieved their goals and wished it could be you? Do you sometimes ask yourself what the key to true success could possibly be? Well, many things come into play when you're pushing towards achieving your goals. There are four primary characteristics that you need if you want to be classified as a high achiever. Number one is you accept no excuses. Number two is you see failure as an opportunity to learn. Number three, you have a strong inner voice. And four, your plan of action is in writing. I'm going to talk a little bit about each of these four points. So again, one widely accepted high achiever characteristic is that you accept no excuses. Most of us are capable of so much more than we allow ourselves to ever accomplish. Why do you think this is? Because there's always an excuse to put something off until tomorrow or to quit when defeat threatens to overtake you. For example, if you're tempted to skip your workout, you may use the excuse that you're too tired or too busy, or perhaps you tell yourself that your body needs to sleep more, that it needs exercise. Let's say it's time for you to sit down and come up with your business plan. Before you know it, you come up with dozens of reasons why you shouldn't do it today. Perhaps you even promise yourself you'll take care of first thing tomorrow. There will always be excuses. The world has no shortage of them. But if you seriously want to be a high achiever, you have to refuse to make excuses for yourself as well as refuse to accept them from others trying to tell you it's okay for you to put your commitments on hold. It's not. Now here's a few words about another recognized high achiever characteristic. You see failure as an option to learn. High achievers are not afraid of failure, but it's not because they're braver than the rest of us. It's because they see failure as an opportunity to learn and to begin again more intelligently. The American actor and writer Sylvester Stallone once said that success comes from the ability to effectively manage failure. The legendary inventor and businessman Thomas Edison said that every failed endeavor was another step forward. Now how different that way of thinking is from the common belief that failure is either a step backward or even worse, the death of your plans. The key to learning how to effectively manage failure is to stay devoted to your goal while keeping your plan flexible. Plans that are too rigid to be measured for effectiveness and adjusted according to what they, what really works will most certainly lead to failure, as will the attitude 
but success only happens in the complete absence of failure. I like to look at the word failure as not a wonderful choice of words. It just means to me I have made a choice and events or circumstances occurred that wasn't what I was expecting. But the thing is, I made a choice based on what I knew best at the time. Now, there are thousands of opportunities and other ways to do things that surround us. So if something doesn't work out, stop, take stock, and then say, all right, um, there's these other set of choices I can make, which one looks the best now, and try it out. You might be surprised. It may work. And if not, well, let me try again. So here's another well regarded high achiever characteristic. You have a strong inner voice. This is probably the most pronounced difference between high achievers and the average individual goal achievers, in that they have an inner voice that is far more influential and powerful than any voice they hear from the outside. Think about the majority of people you know, about their health, their relationships, their careers, their financial life, and their overall levels of happiness. There is a reason why high achievers make up only a minority of the world's population. And the reason for this is that they simply don't think the way everyone else does. Instead of freaking out at the bad news they hear on TV, they read and listen enough to know what's really going on in the world without letting themselves get caught up in the global gossip and negativity. Though they often listen to what others have to say, they give priority to their own inner voice. Think about it for a minute. There are a lot of conflicting opinions swirling about every day. Giving them the power to influence you is just a recipe for confusion. Work on strengthening your own inner voice and learn to cultivate the art of selective ignorance. And finally, Think of the word act, A-C-T. A means action, C means change, and T means things. So action changes things. For high achievers, the plan of action is in writing. According to the well-known author, Dr. Stephen Covey, and countless other personal growth experts, writing is one of the greatest exercises for developing the mind. Writing out your goals not only empowers you to develop an inner voice in support of their pursuit, it helps you establish a no excuses mindset, as well as a positive attitude towards failure. Written plans also help you to define your goals so that you can effectively measure, tweak, and adjust your plans as you continue working towards achieving them. Now you have them. the four key characteristics of a high achiever. And just to review them again, number one is you accept no excuses. Number two, you see failure as an opportunity to learn. Number three, you have a strong inner voice. And number four, you have a plan of action in writing. Now, how else can you become a high achiever? Setting yourself up for success is no easy feat. There are a lot of things that can get in the way of your pursuits along the way, and it's important to be prepared for the worst. Successful people don't become millionaires and celebrities overnight. So what can you do to get that level of success that you're dreaming about? 
It's really very simple. You either need to be a high achiever or train yourself to be more like one. As I said before, high achievers see things differently than most people. They're more optimistic and tend to work well even in stressful environments. But becoming a high achiever isn't out of your reach if you truly aspire to do something great with your life. All you need is a little instruction to get you started and you'll be well on your way to a happy and fulfilling life. If you want to better understand how to become a high achiever, you've come to the right place. Today, we're discussing concepts that high achievers everywhere abide by. Keep listening to learn more. One important trait is high achievers get up early. One of the most important things you can do for yourself in order to become a high achiever is to get up early each morning. Go to bed early if you have to. Highly successful people don't sleep much. That's because they're working hard to achieve their goals in a world with many demands. Getting up early allows you to create time for yourself to be reflective and enhance your goal setting strategies. High achievers are patient but persistent. Remember, you won't become a great success overnight, but if you're persistent about the things you want, you will see results. They say patience is virtue. That statement is most important when it comes to creating a future. You must have patience and understand that it sometimes takes a long time to see real results, even with small goals. But when you do, the reward is so much greater. Great achievers, high achievers, set out, step outside of their comfort zone. Do things that allow you to broaden your horizons, such as community service or other areas of interest. The more you know about things you didn't know before, the more enhanced your vision will be. Be prepared to change at any given time. Life is all about changes, and if you're not prepared, you may feel set back, which can slow your progress even more. Now, high achievers set what we call SMART goals. In order to succeed in life, you need to set realistic goals for yourself. These can be daily, weekly, or even yearly goals that you strive to achieve. You should always write your goals down somewhere where you'll always see them. SMART goals, that's S-M-A-R-T, meaning specific, measurable, achievable, results-oriented, and time-bound, are clear, realistic goals for yourself. And they are some of the most effective goal strategies that successful people use to maintain focus. When we talk about specific, it's important to make your goals clear and concise so that you can always understand what you intend or your end result to be. Instead of just saying that you want to be more productive, detail the specifics that will help you with your productivity. Under measurable, always keep your goals measurable in so much that you can track progress. You'll always want a clear picture of the work that's still necessary to accomplish the goals. Make them achievable. It's all right to have challenges, but never make your goals so intense that they are unachievable. Instead of wanting to read an entire book, set a goal of reading several chapters each day until you're finished. Much easier to do and so enjoyable. As far as results focused, the best goals are determined by their outcomes. Keep everything specific from start to finish and know what you'll need in the end to create a successful result. 
And finally, have the goal be time bound. Don't set deadlines for yourself that you can't meet. Make realistic timelines that create a sense of urgency, but also allow you to complete the work you set out to accomplish. Do it with a sense of joy and ease and not desperation. High achievers also avoid perfectionism. Being a perfectionist will only get you as far as the end of the day. It can interrupt your workflow and cause unnecessary stress that will hinder you from completing your goals. Try to avoid worrying too much about one task or another and move on if something frustrates you. Coming back to a task later can often yield greater results because you'll be refreshed and have a new mindset on the matter. High achievers enjoy their work. Do everything you can to enjoy the tasks you're forced to work on. Play soft music while you study or craft creative ways to remember information so it's more fun to perform each time you sit down to do it. If you're a social person and your work is isolating, make sure to take time out to focus on interaction so that you don't get bored. High achievers set challenges for themselves. Set these challenges for yourself and see them as opportunities to improve. Working through mundane tasks can create boredom and loss of interest. But if you set minor challenges in your work, it will make you feel more successful when you complete the challenge. When you feel more successful, you'll have more drive to go on to even more challenges and tasks that help you get where you want to go. High achievers are responsible. Be a responsible person both in your decision making and actions towards other people and your community. If you have deadlines, make sure you get things turned in on time. If you have a schedule, stick to it. Always make sure that you're projecting your best self. It will not only make you feel more confident, you'll also appear more confident to others. And a high achiever deserves honor. When you're able to give it all you've got and a little more, you've successfully become a high achiever. <coughs> Excuse me. Just remember to keep these guidelines <coughs> in mind as you become more and more successful. They will help you stay focused while making your own dreams come true. Being a high achiever is easy once you put your mind to it. Just stay in rhythm with your goals and the rest will be history. So what are some key differences between high and low achievers? Having worked with a number of remarkably successful entrepreneurs, I can tell you that three of the biggest differences are their ability to define specific goals, work with a team, and determine who they allow to influence them. Firstly, high achievers are much more precise in their goals. The top entrepreneurs have a millionaire mindset. If you ask them how much they will sell this year, they'll give you a specific written number. And most new entrepreneurs or hobby business people or those in the middle of the pack, and they'll tell you something like, oh, maybe more than last year, or it depends. High achievers can tell you how much they, they'll weigh, where they will go on vacation, how many days they will work, and how much they'll sell. They can tell you in advance who their best customers are and the techniques they will use to contact, persuade, and gain new customers. 
the average entrepreneur is still waiting for someone to tell them what to do next. Secondly, high achievers understand the power of teams. They value each contact for what they bring to the table and they capitalize on those strengths. They build strong lifelong business relationships and they understand the power of truly caring for those in their network. And thirdly, high achievers only spend their time with like-minded individuals. They understand the necessity of hanging out with other winners for momentum, enthusiasm, ideas, support, and drive. High achievers have looked at who has influence on them. In some cases, that influence is not positive. So high achievers specifically choose who is on their board of directors and they discuss business only with those individuals. If you want to be more like the three ways high achievers stand out, here's what you can do. Choose a simple goal and make it specific. Perhaps something that you could achieve in the next 30 days. Determine who you need to help you reach that goal. Then share that goal with one person who will support you 100%. Make it a SMART goal and then see where you are at the end of 30 days. You are probably going to be quite surprised. As always, I truly hope that you have found some great takeaways from my words today. If you want further information or want to talk about more ideas about being a high achiever, Contact me through my website, www.thepassionmotivator.com or by email at coachcaroldavies at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. Remember, you can change your life at any time and become the success you want to be. I look forward to connecting with you again next week. Bye now. Tune in every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern for only the best for you with Carol Davies on Global Voice Radio.